right, you guys. Once again, never mind the hair. You guys, I was on my way to the grocery store and I see this lady walking down the street. She kind of looks like she's homeless, but I don't know that she is. She, her pants are all tattered. She's barefoot. Um, she's walking down the street, talking to herself, making all kinds of hand gestures in the air, stopping at somebody's fence and just talking and there's nobody out there. She's an elderly lady. And so I just called the police hopefully they come this time to come and check on her because you know some she could be I think she's she may have Alzheimer's she may have some kind of mental disease but I don't want someone thinking she's at home and then she's out and about and they can't find her later so I just called the police and they're supposed to they said that they were familiar with her so hopefully they're sending someone out I'm supposed to be at work I'm supposed to be picking up flowers for one of our staff members. Today's her birthday. And I just saw this lady and it just breaks my heart. And I don't want to leave her out here in the middle of the road. Fortunately, this is just a neighborhood that she's in, in the middle of the street. It's not like a busy highway or something. I just hope the police will come in, take her back home and since they're familiar with her. So now she's headed back the other way like shoot people probably think I'm stalking her because I just want to make sure she's okay. I pulled up beside her and asked her I said ma'am are you okay? She looked at me and she just kept talking to herself so I don't know whether I should leave and go on back to work or try to follow her because like I said I don't want her to get hurt and if she's supposed to be home I don't know who she's supposed to be home with that's not watching her but anyway I just feel like it's incumbent upon me since I have an elderly parent to try to help because I want someone to do the same for me sad situation I feel like we don't take enough care of our elderly okay so the police came I don't know if you guys can see them in the back but they said they have dealings with her all the time they said yeah she's crazy really people are so heartless anyway i'm leaving it in the police uh in their hands so i'm gonna go ahead and get the flowers and head back to work this makes me sad y'all i'm a very tender-hearted person i mean <laughs> but i'm very tender-hearted so anyway i'm going back to work headed inside ulta to pick up an order hopefully i won't be here long Okay, so I just left Ulta, took care of some business, and picked up my little birthday gift. And now I am headed to Home Depot, and then to Sephora. I'll check back in with you guys when I get to Home Depot. Hi guys, I am on my way home to check on my boy. I'm going to go home and give him his eye drops, and you guys... I am trying out a new foundation today. I need your help. I don't know if I like it or if I don't. I checked the description after I picked it up and this is, um, I had picked the wrong shade, but I uh, purchased it anyway because it was on sale for $29 and it's normally like 40 something dollars. And I bought it the last day of the sale later on that night. And I was like, I know the shade probably doesn't match, but I wanted to get the sell price. And then I was like, I'll just exchange it if it's, you know, the wrong shade, which um, it was. And the foundation I am talking about, I don't know the name. I know it's the Clinique Serum Foundation. And I cannot tell if I am looking too red, but I can't tell if I am looking cool tone or a little red. And the reason I went ahead and tried it out today is because on the way home from work tonight, I'm planning on stopping back by Ulta and exchanging it one more time if this isn't the right shade. Once I saw that it was cool, I think it solidified the fact that I was thinking it was a little red. Like I said, I am going home to give my boy his eye drops and I will check back in with you guys later. My new vlog just went up. Uh, yesterday last night it was late because I couldn't get 
the um, trailer uploaded and then I had exported the whole file and I saw that there was an error and then I was trying to cut down on the, how long it was. It was just a whole ordeal. But anyway, it went up last night about 10. <laughs> I think it was like 10 or 10.30. My bad, but <laughs> it's up and I don't have to worry about another video until Saturday. I will pick you guys up later because like I said, I am on my way to check on my baby boy. He goes to the groomers tomorrow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He's not going to be happy, but it is much needed. He is long overdue. So I'm so happy about that. So I will see you guys when I get to the house. Bye. Okay, guys, I made it home. I checked the mirror again. I don't know. It looks fine when I look in the mirror, but Sometimes you know how things translate over the camera and looks differently. So I don't know if I'm seeing the real deal then or in my mirror. I don't know. But the shade that I have is, well, first, let me show you the foundation now that I'm home. It's the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. And this has SPF 25. And it said that this one was deep with neutral or cool neutral undertones and it seems like they all almost have neutral undertones but the amber has warm neutral undertones so anyway here i am again this is what the foundation looks like on my skin i don't know if um i don't know you guys let me know this is what the foundation bottle looks like and, you know, I like the fact that it was like a serum foundation. I thought it would be really nice and kind of glowy on the skin, kind of giving us, kind of giving a radiant kind of look. Um, so I wanted to try it. Today's the first day I've worn it. So I guess the jury's still out. Um, this is in the shade CN116 Spice. So I got this from Ulta. And like I said, it was on sale for like $29. And normally it's like $41, I think, or somewhere along that area. And because this is my birthday month, I also uh, got a birthday gift, which is the Man Eater Mascara by Tarte. And I'm going to look at this because I kind of think I had this before. Mm, I'm not sure. But as if I need another mascara, I really wanted the... I think they had a Lancome Genifique uh, face mask. I really wanted that. But this is what, this is the only one that they had in the store. So this is one of my birthday perks. And then I had to take back, I don't know if you guys read the description box from my vlog that I uploaded um, yesterday. And it said that I took back the Rare Beauty Foundation and the Dior Foundation. Um... You know, I said in the blog that I had the Rare Beauty on, and I think it was looking pretty good. Now, that foundation was red. Red, red, red. So, I did take that back. They didn't have the shade that she recommended. She said a lot of people that wear 420 and Fenty get a certain shade, and she said that they didn't have it in store. So, she ordered it online for me, and that's going to be sent out. The Dior Foundation... I don't know if I'm going to reorder that one in a different shade or not. I don't know. I, I may pick it up again in neutral, the one that I thought I would have worn. But, um, of course, they don't have Dior at my JCPenney Sephora. I don't know. Besides the fact, it was, it was orange looking on me. And it was really kind of dry looking as well. So, I don't know. I may, I may try it again and see how it does. But... Right now, I just wanted to get the Clinique one, but I was able to get my birthday gift at Sephora as well. And she said, this is the only one that we have, which was perfect because this is the one that I wanted. So I got the Laneige birthday gift and it has three products in there. And it's so funny because one of the products uh, will be in this Saturday's video. If I do the empties video, it'll be in this Saturday's video because I just finished using it up. So I did get the Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask. You guys remember this? Yeah, I emptied this. So now I have another one. I also, they also gave me the Laneige Water Sleepy Mask. And I don't think I've ever tried this. 
say anything about this. Oh yeah, it says it's an overnight moisture recharging gel mask with sleep scent. Delivers deep hydration, and it says that you're, you're to apply evenly across face, leave treatment overnight, and rinse off in the morning. Use once or twice a week. Oh, hmm. So I know I've never tried this. Hmm, it smells nice. And it is kind of a gel-like consistency. So this, this will be interesting enough to try. And then I have one more product in here, which is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. And let's see. This one says it's a nutrient-rich moisture cream for soothing, skin-strengthening hydration. It says gently spread onto the face before water sleeping mask. Oh, so I guess you can use these in conjunction with each other. So, um... And this, this is my birthday perk from Sephora, and I was happy to be able to get this one. And that's it, you guys. Um, I'm just popping on really quick to show you the foundation again. See, I think I think it's on my forehead that I really see the red. I don't know. Let me swatch it for you guys and give you a better look. I think this little egg shape. <laughs> bottle is so cute i wish it wasn't glass because you know i could be a little clumsy i'm gonna use it up so much they're gonna tell me no um i'm sorry we can't take this back so this is what it looks like and let me and i'm gonna try to put a little bit on my chest as well let me get my mirror so i can see what i'm doing Yeah. So you guys, what do you think? And this is it on my skin, on my hand. So anyway, I don't know, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just end up keeping it. I said, this is the Lord telling me that you need to use the foundations that you already have, <laughs> but let me get lucky situated and I'm going to head to the grocery store. <laughs> I know I told y'all about going to be going to the grocery store every other day. Last night, um, while my video was exporting, I jumped up out of bed and ran to the grocery store because I had no bottled water, nothing. Ever since we had that snowstorm, you guys, and we had to boil our water, Honey, that water was looking really suspect. And ever since then, I have not wanted to drink tap water. Even after boiling the water, the water just looked suspect. And I haven't been drinking tap water anymore. So I picked up some water last night. And so today I'm just going to H-E-B and just grabbing a salad. And I already have dinner for tonight. So then I hope to have my life together. But that's it, you guys. Um, my hair, I don't know. I, girl, it is living its best life. <laughs> it is living its best life. So this is just what we're going to do. So that's why tomorrow, no, Saturday, I was going to film the testing new products video. But I was like, well, you can't do that video with your hair looking a hot mess. I even had the nerve to put another twist over here today. But that's, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for these 30 minutes or so. So again, I am rambling. So bye, you guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, you guys. So I just left H-E-B picking up my salad. And this is what I'll be having for lunch. It is a chicken cob salad with some avocado in there. Some red onions, tomatoes, bacon. So this is going to do me just fine and hopefully I'll have enough energy to cook dinner tonight but at least I have lunch and dinner for tonight. So I am headed back to work. I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi you guys. We are finally here. Here at last. Lucky is at the groomers. He is not happy about it. How are you baby? I'm not happy about it. He don't want to be here. But his mama happy. So we're going to go in and get him cleaned up, get his hair cut down, 
and then mommy will let him in the bed again i've been keeping him off my bed but let's get in because i only have a few minutes they want me in there before eight okay come on baby where are you come on we gotta go this way come on And who are you, sir? Okay, so like he's been dropped off. He did not want to go in, you guys. They had to take, pick him up and take him. He hates the groomers, but she gets him in so um, fast and she's calling me like immediately to come get him. So his, you know, he doesn't have to stay there all day. She gets, she takes care of him right away. And um, I know her because she used to work for the school district as, as well. So I am happy that he's there. I told them to take cut all his hair off because after that winter storm the grass has been so prickly and he's just bringing so much grass in because he's picking up everything on his coat so I just told him to take it all off and I am now going to get some gas and I'm looking a hot mess again today it's Friday though so Friday I don't care um, I'm gonna get some gas and I'm gonna try to run to Lowe's which is just a couple of streets down from the gas station to get some air conditioning filters. And if I can get some weed and feed really fast, I'm going to try to do that too because it's, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and I would like to put that down and let the rain, you know, just soak it in really well. So those are my plans before I head to work. And, um, that's it for now guys. I will talk to you later. Okay. Looks like this is it right here. Is this it? No. Sons of guns. This is just ridiculous. And nobody out here to help you. Okay. Here's some more right here. And let's see. Is this the one I want? I don't think that's the one I want. I want this bag down here. <sighs> but I want a smaller bag. Thinking about getting one of these because I have one of these and I hate it. it looks like somebody's already been using them. Okay. Okay, I found someone to help me. And I am out of here. already so hot outside it says it's 65 but I'm already sweating I had everything that I needed I had everything I needed except for the blood lights and they had some there but I'm not quite sure if those are if those are the ones that I want so I think what I may do is uh, look online but not today so I got my fertilizer, my gas cap, and my air conditioning filters. So it was a pretty good day after all. I'm going to get out of here and head to work now. Today is sweats day. 
so we're real casual but I think I'm gonna stop by Dunkin Donuts and get a coffee so I will pick you guys up later okay you guys so I finally made it through the Starbucks line and I'm at work in the parking lot did pick up my drink I got the caramel frappuccino which is my usual and I even picked up a breakfast sandwich that it's like 9 30 I'm almost all done with it but delicious because I'm starving and I guess I will go ahead and make it inside the building I'm just looking at this parking lot we got a lot of people out today I know my principal said that a lot of people had put in absences for today and I can, I can just tell by the parking lot this place is empty so let me go ahead and get inside the building um, as soon as I get there they'll be calling me telling me that Lucky's ready for pickup <sighs> let me get my day started I'll talk to you guys later you guys I literally jinxed myself I have not even gotten out the car and they called me and told me Lucky's ready for pickup <laughs> Am I even going to work today? I'm going to go get him because I don't like him to stay there. I like for him to be in his own environment. So if he's ready for pickup, I want to take him home so he can relax because he cannot relax there. He gets so anxious. So I'll call my principal on the way and let her know I'm going to pick up Lucky. They get him in so fast, you guys, because I dropped him off at 8 and it's like 940 now. Ugh. So, let me go get my baby. <laughs> I'll pick you guys up later. I cannot believe this. Hey, you guys. It is my lunch time. Actually, I decided not to go home for lunch today since I had such a late start getting here with taking Lucky to the groomers and stuff. So, I'm just sitting out in the car because it is a gorgeous day. It um, is so breezy and it's not um, really hot or humid outside. It just feels so nice. So, I thought I would just stay here at work. I'm um, sitting in the car and just take advantage of this outdoor weather. I did cook last night, and again, I had to work, so I didn't really feel like it. But I knew if I didn't cook last night that I wouldn't have any lunch for today, no dinner for tonight. So I didn't film it or anything because it was just a quick, simple meal. Um, all I did was put some chicken in the... Where's my fork? I put some chicken in the oven... And then I put some cream of mushroom, no, I put some cream of chicken soup on top with some onions and some mushrooms and a little celery. And then when it was almost done, I put on top of the chicken some spinach and it's just accompanied with some white rice. And I will show that to you. Like I said, this was just a quick and simple meal because I just had to have something to eat for the next day. So I just threw this together. So yeah, nothing earth shattering. So I'm going to have lunch real quick and I'll pick you guys up later. It's time to unload the items that I picked up at Lowe's today, which are my air conditioning filters. And it looks like the fertilizer has a hole in it. Ugh. So it's not too bad. Let me get this out. Showed you guys. I also picked up the cap to my lawnmower. It, I think it got caught in the original one I think it got caught in the shrubs and I never have been able to find it again so I picked up another one so my gas will stop evaporating out of my mower so these are the things that I picked up from Lowe's and I am just headed in the house so I can chill for a little bit longer before I have to head over to work again happy Saturday everybody I am at home just chillaxing I am just enjoying the day. I don't have anything on my agenda. Um, it was a mad dash this morning to the gas station because I 
heard that it was supposed to rain. So I ran to the gas station to fill up my gas can because I never finished mowing the side of the house because we ran out of gas. So I ran up there, got gas at H-E-B and we came home, we finished mowing and then I was able to put the fertilizer out and now we're just waiting on the rain. Whilst we were making the mad dash to H-E-B for gas, it was sprinkling a little bit and I was like, Lord, please just hold the rain. And so after everything was done, I was ready for it to rain and the sun came out. <laughs> so I don't know. It said it was um, like a 74% chance of rain this evening. So I hope that we do get some rain so I could just go ahead and uh, dissolve the fertilizer into the ground. But other than that, <clears throat> I just finished filming the bronzer showdown and just waiting for everything to upload so I can go ahead and edit it and post it for today. Now, I said I upload videos every Wednesday and Saturday, but I didn't say what time. <laughs> so I'd, I'm running late. I didn't have anything planned. Well, I had something planned for today, but um, it didn't happen. So I just decided to film this because this was another video that I was interested in filming. Oh, and on my eyes today, I do have the Natasha Denona palette from my Boxy Charm. What was it called? The Ayana palette, I think, or something like that. I'll put it up if that's not correct. But I just did a little soft, natural makeup look because... Um, like I said, we're not doing anything. So I'm just hopping on. Nothing's going on. Lucky and I are just hanging out and we're just popping in to say hi. It's Saturday and, um, this is my life. Every day we don't have something to do. Some days it's just a chill day with nothing going on. And that's exactly what I hope today brings. Nothing. I just want to lay around and relax. So I shall see you guys later. So, um, it looks like UPS just dropped by with my package now um this is probably i told you guys on my last vlog that i took back their rare beauty because it was a little that was a little too red looking see and so the lady didn't have the shade that she recommended in store so she uh went ahead and ordered it for me so i'm sure this is what i'm receiving today she said that the people that usually wear 420 and Fenty, this is the Rare Beauty shade that they would wear. This is 460W. If this is going to work, if not, guess who's on a foundation no buy for a little bit. <laughs> so this looks like, this does actually look a little bit more promising. shade wise um i'm gonna just give it a little swatch on my chest and let's see what this looks like yeah i think this one this shade is definitely more promising and i'm gonna go ahead and Take the rest and swatch it on my hand. You probably can't even see that. And then blend it on in. So this may, this may work. So we'll just play with it and see how it works out. I think this is definitely more promising because like I said, this doesn't have the red um, undertone to it. This has a warm undertone, which I kind of, I try to not go to warm undertones because sometimes they just look so orange, but um, I don't want to look red either. <laughs> so anyway, we'll just try this out and see how it works. Um, so now in my arsenal, because I never did take back the Clinique that I was telling you guys about, I never took this one back yet. I'm still trying to figure out if this is the shade that I want to keep or what. So they do kind of look similar. 
So far, I think the Rare Beauty is a little bit more deeper. These are the two that we'll be playing with. I went from three foundations to zero new foundations, and now I'm back up two. So I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna um, go ahead and get the Dior again, or if I'm just going to pump my brakes on that one. So the jury's still out, but I just wanted to let you know that UPS just left and they delivered my foundation. I can't wait to use this. And um, again, back to relaxing. I just was getting ready to start editing my video for Saturday today, because again, we don't have anything planned today. We're just chilling. So let me get that so I can go ahead and upload that video. I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, I am just getting off of work. I stayed a little late today because we had a retirement party for one of our employees. And now I am at Lowe's. Do you guys remember when I came looking for the fertilizer and the gas cap and whatnot? Well, the gas cap didn't fit. And I was able to exchange it. I think this, this looks like the one that I had before that I didn't like. But I think this one will fit. What I didn't realize, mine said 675 series. But my lawnmower says 675 EX series. So I didn't think the EX mattered, but apparently it does. So I just picked this one up. I don't like this uh, part right here because I believe that's how it came off before. But it's better than just having nothing and having your gas evaporate out of the mower. So I'm happy to have this. Um, now I'm going to the grocery store. I'm going to the HEB Plus. They have more stuff there, which gets me in all kinds of trouble. But I got to pick up Baby Boar some dog food. He, I don't even think he has enough dog food for one more meal. But it's lasted him a long time. He hasn't had to have dog food since we had the winter storm. So I'm going to go pick him up some dog food and some treats. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to... Oh, I did not feel like cooking. And so I'm probably going to get something, one of those family meals, and just throw it in the oven. I have some salad in the refrigerator, so I'm probably just going to make it, make it really simple tonight. Throw something in the oven and call it a day. So that's where I am right now. But you guys, that's why I love vlogging, because you guys don't have to wait. You guys kind of get instant gratification. But I have the Clinique. My... I'm not even going to talk about it. I have the Clinique foundation on, so I think I'm just going to keep this one. It looks pretty good on the skin. I don't think it's too red or anything, and I think it's a pretty good match. But let me know in the comments what you think. And this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, you guys know I'm really not a cool tone kind of girl, but this goes smoky real fast. <laughs> this that Ayana palette it knows nothing but smoke but um, that's the one I took with me to school today so um, I've been wearing it it's not my favorite but it's not that bad it's really easy for work so that's what I'm just sticking to right now but let me head on to HEB to finish running another errand and I'm gonna try to get home as soon as I can because I want to lay it down so oop, looks like they are having an argument so anyway <laughs> I'll see you guys when I get home. Bye. Oh my god. It looks like I am going to have to go to Walmart. Is that what Lucky takes? Shoot, I didn't want a big bag like that. Well, let's see. I really don't think that's the one he takes. Nope. Oh, for the love. Why, why, why? Oh. They are out of so many of them. 
He's such a picky eater. I try to give him grain free. No added grain or. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do give him some wet food. I think this is, he likes this one okay, but this one is the one he likes the best. find myself in a situation where I'm being the good Samaritan I can never just walk away so right now I just had to turn this vehicle in because they had their dogs in this car and the windows are rolled up let me see if I can show you one dog is sitting on the dashboard poor thing I know they're hot as like they can be so that's one dog there and then I walked, and then there's another dog um, in the back of the vehicle. So, you mean to tell me you couldn't at least roll the windows down for him? <sighs> that poor dog. And so I told the guy that was pushing the baskets, and he said he was going to call someone. <sighs> Why am I always in this situation? Another thing is you guys 
when I say, and I'm sure you guys already know this, about going to the grocery store when you're hungry. Well, that's exactly what I did. I told y'all I was just going for dog food. And a hundred and one dollars later, we are on our way home. I guess I'll show you my embarrassing grocery haul when I get to the house. But when I tell you I was starving and didn't even, you know, I was just picking up stuff because it looked good. I wasn't even thinking that Jackie, you were hungry and I showed out. I hope I have something decent that I can account for. But I'll show you guys what I got when I get to the house. I gotta watch all these bumps in the road because the city still has not fixed all these dips and bumps in the road since the winter storm. Let me show y'all. <laughs> I wanna tell you about these potholes. They are ridiculous. These are, this is just so sad. Okay, we're gonna see if this gas cap fits. Yes, I have saran wrap on there to try to keep the gas from evaporating. Just got home. Haven't even unloaded the groceries yet. But, I wanna see if this is going to work out. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. And as I said, no judgment. No judgment. We went hog wild. And after I do this grocery haul, we're going to end this vlog because I'm just totally embarrassed. Okay, you guys. I'm going to show you what I picked up at the grocery store. And yeah, I was pretty hungry when I went in there. Didn't realize how hungry I really was because I normally don't buy some of the stuff that I picked up today. But I did, we're here, so let me just share. I don't know, this is like my normal. This is my favorite cereal, Honeycombs. You already know about my Crunch and Munch and toffee. And then I picked up, cause I eat a lot of cereal. I picked up the Frosted Flakes as well. This is bag number one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't even take it off the bag because Lucky is scouting. Bag number two, you already saw at the grocery store. This is just his dog food, but normally. I get a bigger bag, get like the mid-sized bag. It's like the small, the medium, which I normally get, and then they have the real large one. But this will last them for a while because they didn't have the large one or the medium that I normally get. See, mommy got your, oops, see, mama got your food? And then I picked up some cheese. I usually, y'all, I do a lot of stuff for my baby. He is just spoiled rotten. So I picked up this cheese because when he takes his allergy tablet in the morning, I have to hide it in a little piece of cheese. He's on to me, so now he doesn't want the cheese. So sometimes I hide it in a piece of bread and put a little peanut butter on it. <laughs> He's on to me, so he doesn't want that anymore. So now I've gone to hiding it in his treats. And one day I came home from work and I saw the pill on the carpet so I have to try something new and innovative so he used to love this but I'm gonna go back to this and see if I can get him to eat his pill with it or to take his pill with the cheese and of course I can use cheese as well and my little egg omelets and I also picked up so mind you I did a curbside grocery order just yesterday but I didn't get a whole whole lot of things I just got some things 
that I thought would last me till the end of the month. That was my plan, but then here I am at the grocery store again. But one of the things that I wanted to get yesterday, but they didn't have it, so I went to this H-E-B and they did have it. And this is the pork loin. So I picked this up because I really wanted it. I haven't had a pork loin in a while. And this was actually on sale, so this was like $5.45. Next, now this is what I'm talking about. I don't normally buy. I didn't even know there was such a thing as the Wednesday special. So I bought some sushi. It says Wednesday, $7. Now this is normally $9.99. Let's see if you guys can see it through here. $9.99. And it's so good. This is one of my favorite ones. This is a temptation roll. And this is cooked, and this has sushi rice, tempura style shrimp, imitation crab, sushi, sushi sauce, spicy mayo, and sesame seeds. And again, this is the one that I really like. On sale Wednesday, $7. I wish I had never known that. And then I picked up another one. This one is the Gulf Coast Roll. And I just figure I can have this for lunch tomorrow, one of them. And this is the sushi rice imitation crab salad, cucumber imitation crab, sushi sauce, fried onion flakes, and spicy mayo. Gosh, I want to eat this right now. Now, I never had this one, but I've had the temptation roll before. So they were on sale for seven, so I went and got them. Never have I done that. And then I picked up my Mill Simple, the seafood stuffed salmon with broccoli. This is my regular. Oh, yeah. I just went crazy. Then I picked up just two cans of green beans. I got the big size so I don't have to cook a vegetable every other day. Oh, I did pick up the spaghetti sauce because I used my last envelope. I couldn't find the one with mushrooms, so I just got this one again. And then I picked up the Sweet and Sassy Trail Mix. This is good. So it just has, what are the things that it has in here? It has butter toffee peanuts, Cajun peanuts, roasted salted corn kernels, honey roasted sesame sick sticks, Cajun sesame sticks, and roasted almonds. I like this stuff a lot. That's where I get the great big bag of it, of course. I just picked up a carton of eggs. I just get the medium size. I did check them to make sure they weren't cracked. Then you guys saw me in the store pick up the pepperoni. And this is what I cut the top and I stuff his pill in there. That's what I've been doing now. But he's on to me. And then I showed you the wet food. So sometimes if he has a problem eating his food, which is still in his bowl, then I'll put in a little of the wet meat, which is probably what I'll do tonight. And then I picked the, oh, you guys, this is what I picked up. I was kind of excited when I saw this. It's called the Silky Wide Infinity Band. And guys, I swear I have a shirt just like this. It made me think of it, but I don't know where it is. But this is what it looks like. And I thought that would be perfect. So for my head is so big, y'all. I don't know that this is going to fit. But when I'm trying to fake a puff, I thought this would be something that might work. So I'm really excited to try this, but you really seriously... It probably won't even, hopefully, I hope it fits. I wish I had my scissors here. And um, it has a little knot in the front, but it looks like it's really wide on the sides. And they had a leopard print once, like I was thinking, if this works, oh, if this works, I'm going to go back and get the other colors. But yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. See, it has a little, um, not right in front. 
So I'm going to try to see how this looks. And then I bought this, what is it, Miel Magongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner. It says it's protein-free, intense hydration, protein-free conditioner for versatile hairstyling. And I've heard a lot about this brand. And I like that it has just a single packet that I can purchase in case I don't like it. But in my last vlog, I had the Shea Moisture and I didn't really like the conditioner, so I wanted to try this. So I picked this up. It was only, I think, like $1.50. Yeah, it's been raining. It's been raining so much here that I actually thought I had some kind of pipe leak the other day because my grass is just soggy. And um, there was water running because my grass or my yard is kind of on that slope. And there was uh, water running between the my house and the fence down to the street and i was just like oh my god did something burst did a pipe burst or something i mean it has rained every single day for probably more than a week now and um one of the workers at school said they think it's supposed to rain all the way until next week i don't know we haven't had any rain so far today but it is cloudy outside so who knows anyway i picked up you guys saw me pick this up too, I believe. This is the low-fat 1% milk. This is all I can handle. And sometimes it goes to waste. Then I picked up um, my Diet Dr. Pepper. Well, this is the generic Dr. Pepper. This is the Doc Diet Dr. B. I love this. And then I have the Diet Original Cola. And then I picked up two cans that's all I will allow, but I picked up two cans of biscuits. Um, on Saturdays when I have time to cook breakfast in the morning, sometimes I'll make a good breakfast and I'll open up a can of biscuits. Mm -mm -mm. So good. This Saturday, this past Saturday, we had blueberry pancakes that I made. That was good too. And I think I have, and you guys saw me pick up the bathroom tissue. I'm on my last roll, so I picked this up. Yeah, I picked up potatoes yesterday, and they accidentally gave me um, a bag of red onions that I didn't order, and so it wasn't on my receipt, but I did call them today to let them know that I had gotten the red onions, and I didn't request those, and they just told me to keep them. Well, I, I mean, I got a bag of them, and I will not use those, so I took... Um, Bought five onions to school today and gave and shared them because there was no way I was going to use that meat because I bought a yellow onion, which is what I wanted, a sweet yellow onion. I bought that, but I didn't really, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to have one red onion, but not a bag of them. So I shared those at work. What else did I buy? I bought hamburger meat, and I swear I only put one in the cart, came home with two, and I think they substituted the hamburger meat, gave me an extra pack of hamburger meat because they didn't have the pork loin because I had my order tallied to the T. But I can always use beef. What else did I buy? I can't remember what else I picked up. I didn't pick up a whole lot of things yesterday. Um, oh, and I picked up some bacon. So y'all know I'm going to be eating a good breakfast this Saturday because I never buy bacon. I rarely buy bacon at all. I buy those turkey sausages. And then I picked up the Michelangelo's baked ziti with meatballs. Now, I have so much food now, I don't know which one I want to eat tonight. Do I want to eat the sushi? Do I want to eat the meal simple? Do I want to pop the ziti in the oven? But this is so good. I had this one before, and this is really good. But I like this because when I have to go to work twice, you know, if I go to school and then I have to work at the pharmacy, which I don't tonight, I like to, when I come home from the pharmacy, I don't want to worry about what... Um, what I'm going to have for dinner, because that just makes me stop at a fast food place. I like to, like the baked ziti, all I have to do is cut me a little slice of it and pop it in the microwave with a salad. I don't want to have to think about what am I going to have for dinner. And y'all, when I tell you I am burned out of rotisserie chicken, you know that's my go-to. It's just so easy. Then just make some green beans or a side. That is my go-to. But I just made a big old pan of chicken the other day i made it and i tell you i don't want to look at chicken for a little while i am burned out with chicken 
So that's why I opted for some different things. But I think, yeah, I think that's all that I bought. Now you tell me, does this look like $101 worth of groceries? And I even used my discount card because I work at HEB, so um, we get a discount on HEB items. I don't know where my receipt is. But this just doesn't look like, um, yeah, this doesn't look like a hundred, what's this? I already showed you guys that. So anyway, it was a hundred, it was really a hundred and seven, then I got it down to a hundred and one. And I just stood there looking at the laid out site. Say what? <sighs> I don't know. I'm just greedy and I'm hungry. So I'm going to put all these groceries away. Like I said, just a little embarrassed. So this is it for the vlog. I'm just going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, I don't think it's terribly interesting this week. We didn't really do anything. Like I said, it's been raining nonstop. So I really didn't do too much over the course of the week. But I don't want to make it so long. And this is just my everyday life. So sometimes we have things to do. Sometimes we have places to go. Sometimes we're not doing a darn thing. And I think this is exactly what this vlog entails. But... With that said, I'm just going to end it right here. So thank you so much for turn, for tuning in to the vlog. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving this vlog a thumbs up, and ringing the notification bell. It just lets you know each and every time that I upload a video and share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you are always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Take care everybody and I'll see you soon. Bye.